What's up guys, it's me the Dom Fanatic and welcome back to another Pokemon PU Wi-Fi battle. Today I'm battling Amri slash at Bunnelby Breeder, I believe, on Twitter. I will leave a link to his Twitter in the description. I can't remember if he has YouTube or not, but if he does, I'll look it up and I'll put that there too. So, it's a PU battle against Amri and he's challenged me to rematch. And I know I've got a battle against him already on my channel, but I can't remember what the outcome of that battle was. So, um, obviously I must have beaten him. And hopefully this team isn't the same team that I used against him last time. Because, uh, otherwise I might run into some problems. We might have some counter pokes. But, uh, he, he challenged me pretty aggressively on Twitter. So he's obviously up for this. He's got that Mariel. He's got the choice banded Mariel. And it also looks like, what's he, he's got a Violite. Uh, what's it called? I've forgotten what it's called. You know what, I don't even know. It's got... Hmm, he's going to want to put Stealth Rocks up, that's for sure. So, oh shit, uh, I've, I've accidentally clicked on Confirm with only one Pokemon. Uh, I'm going to, hang on, I'll tweet him saying, I'm so good, I've only <laughs> bought one Poke. <laughs> Hopefully he'll, uh... Realise that I will want to forfeit and then <laughs> uh, obviously redo my team because I didn't mean to do that. And now he'll know what I was trying to lead off with as well. He's obviously going to start off with Graveler because, um, well, I'm thinking he's going to start off with Graveler so he can set up them Stealth Rocks. So uh, is he Scrotum? We actually start off with Rotom, which is not good at all. Uh, obvious Blizzard is obvious. But I only have Deku anyway, so I'm just going to forfeit. Yes, I'm going to forfeit this game, and this is going to be done properly because I obviously uh, didn't mean to bring just my Torp Terror. So, what can we do? Let's... Oh, actually, I don't know. What do I want to start off with? I don't want to start off with... Uh, no, I don't want to say that. Even though it was a, such a thrilling battle, I'm not going to want to upload that again. So, let's pick that same music again. Let's battle start. Let's pick my team. And then, hopefully, I won't be such an idiot this time. Uh, because I'm such a gentleman, I'll start off with the same lead, otherwise it's not fair. And uh, I'm pretty confident I can swap into my, what's it called, my Terabyte. My, um, what's it called, my Porygon. Trace its Levitate, that'll be handy. And then, see what goes from there. And I won't be such a noob. Any oh, I've, I've clicked all six this time, so... It'll be a fair... <laughs> you just tweeted lol at me. Wow. Dude, come on. You're meant to be nice to me. I'm battling you and uploading this to YouTube. And you're just dissing me in public on Twitter. That's not fair at all. Anyway, hurry and pick your team. You obviously don't know. I can't... I'm too lazy to tweet you saying same leads. Basically, I hope you understand we're starting off with the same leads. It's kind of Pokemon... Po Pokemon? Pokemon etiquette, isn't it? So, let's try this again. Bunnelby Breeder slash Amri. I'm taking you down, whether you like it or not. However, I am very scared of his team. I do not like it. As long as I get the rock, I want to get them rocks up fast, because that Pidgeot could be a pain. However, I do have Ice Shard. Um, if he's a choice set, if he's not, then I'm going to be faster with my Sneasel. He starts off with, with this thing, actually, this time. So, I used to be cool. Yes, you did used to be cool. You're going to set up... What are you going to set up? You're going to set up... You're going to set up top six spikes, aren't you? And I have no spinners, and I also have no. What do I have none of? I have. I know, I know. I don't have any spinners, but I do have magic coat. <laughs> so I can actually magic coat everything back at him. So what can I trace? Liquid ooze. No one's going to be using them. Um. Them things. Alright, anyone. Anyway, he's gone for Toxic Spikes. That was inevitable. Now let's go for Magic Coat and see if he wants to do it again. Please, please go for Toxic Spikes. Even though you probably do carry the Rapid Spin. And if you do, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yes, he does. <laughs> he uses them and I get the Toxic Spikes back off. <laughs> Come on. Right, um... What's he going to do now? He's going to go for the Rapid Spin, isn't he? So let's go for the Thunder Wave. Or is he going to predict me to go 
predict me to go for predict. Uh, is he going to predict me to predict him to go for rapid spin? He goes for the school. That's going to do nothing to me. So um, let's uh, please don't burn me. Yay! And then I get the thunder wave off, which is very nice. And now what do I want with standard poison on? Um, I would not like toxic damage on. Not like toxic damage on Deku. That's for sure. However, I can't do anything with him. Captain Brave Bird won't be affected by it. And he's the one who I can hit hardest with. He might go for the Scald again. Uh, I'm going to go for the Magic Coat, expecting him to go for another Toxic Spikes, because it just seems like the random thing he might do right now. Did I predict correctly? No, he went for the Scald. Okay. Please, just get the Paralysis. That would be nice. Don't. This guy still isn't getting a burn on me, which is nice too. So what do I actually have? I don't actually have anything that can hit this thing. I don't want to go into Captain Brave Bird, obviously, because I don't want to get burnt. I don't want to get my Sneasel to get burnt. Magma can't get burnt, but the Scold is super effective. And Kong can get burnt, and it resists the Scold, but it can't really touch Tentacle. So I'm just going to swap into it, because it seems like the safest thing to do. I can't touch this thing with the Violet on it. Now, I could go and try and knock it off, obviously. But, Scald's going to hurt, so I don't want to... Oh, he's withdrew. What's he going to go into? Please go into something that's going to hurt Scrotum. Um, okay, I don't really... I don't really know. What's he going to do? He's not going to be... Is he going to be Scarfed? If he's Scarfed, then I, I'm going to... I'm going to risk it. Go for the Focus Blast. Please hit. Please hit the Focus Blast. If he was... If he used his brain, he would go into his... Oh, he's, yes, he's gone to Blizzard. He's gone for Blizzard, expecting me to swap into... Torterra, predicting the electric move. That wasn't my mindset. Come on, focus blast hits. That thing is choice scarf too. It's not sashed and it should die. That thing is gone. That thing was a pain and it's gone. And that makes me happy because Torterra is going to be around for longer. And now Kong uh, is pretty much. Well, he's not useless to me actually because he's faster than. He's actually naturally faster than. Um. What's he naturally faster than? He's naturally faster than Pidgeot by one base speed. So unless it's... And I'm max speed. So unless it's Choice Scarf Pidgeot, which I doubt it is, um, I'm, I'm not too scared. So now I see this as a chance to bring in my Sneasel safely because he's going to want to um, go for another Toxic Spikes here. Because I can't deflect it back. I haven't got any spinners, so I want to go for the knockoff. And he can't burn me, actually. Why was I scared? Because obviously now he's put... I don't get why he's running Toxic Spikes and Scald. Because Pokemon are going to be poisoned before you can Scald them. So, uh, yeah, that's just just a thought. Let's go for a knockoff. And then let's see if he's going to want to switch. Because to be honest, he's not going to want to lose his Eviolite right now. And to be honest, Poison is probably the least worrying one. Obviously, while it reduces your HP, Sleep means you can't move for like up to five turns. Which is pretty crucial. Thunder Wave slows you down, which is also pretty helpful, but also has the chance of you not attacking. And, wow, this thing is physically defensive. And he's paralyzed, which is cool. And I'm only, I'm only normally poisoned, so let's see, what can I do here? Let's go into Terabyte. So now I'm actually safe to go into Terabyte here. Uh, no, and I can go for the tri attacks and probably hit quite hard now too. Hopefully he switches as well. Although I'm pretty sure I'll switch first time faster. But um, this thing, I don't know actually, because uh, I guess Scald is going to be effective against my Staravia because obviously it can't get poisoned by the toxic spikes, which is helpful because 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 I, I don't really know why because because obviously the poison would do a lot of damage along with um, let's give a try attack and see how much this does he's not gonna have any form of recovery so uh, I'm interested to see what he wants to do here what's he gonna do enter the Hall of Fame 19 times not even bad come on Amory what are you gonna do to me here buddy what are you gonna do what are you going to do? You know what? I don't actually see Toxic Spikes used very often anymore. It's quite nice to see it. Let's go for Tri-Attack, see how much it does. We'll see it's slower. 
I didn't I didn't do too bad actually, considering I don't have any special attacking investment. Obviously it's stab. I could go for a recover here and be the dick that I am. But I'm actually just gonna go for try attack and then I should be able to live, poison and another scald. So hopefully, as long as I take this thing down. And my Oh yes, I took it down in one hit. That's beautiful. Okay, so I don't even need to take an attack from it. And that doesn't do much either. But, I mean, that poison's already done a lot. I'm going to go down to it next turn, actually. Um, so, I could swap out, and then when I come in next time with it, I can recover. But it depends what Pokemon he brings in here, I guess. Virgin Maril. <laughs> is, that, is that meant to be Virgin Mary? You know what? No, I think the best thing here is... To go for a try attack and see how much it does. Am I going to be faster? He's actually far. Oh, he's gone for Aqua Jet. Live it. Oh, I lived. Oh, wow. Please get the burn with the try attack. Get the burn. Get the burn. Oh, where's the burn? The lack of burn is upsetting. Now, if I go into Torterra, is he going to have the Ice Punch? Is he going to have the Ice Punch? Aquajet will probably take Delson out. So I'm going to go for Deku. Because I'm sh I'm pretty confident in the fact that a Torterra is probably um, faster than Mariel. Um, so I guess, unless he's max speed, I don't know what the, the, it's like then. But um, let's go for a Seed Bomb just to play it safe. Look at that. Three of my things that are, 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 that are alive are all poisoned. There's <laughs> too much poison going on. He's probably going to swap into Pidgeot, and I should have taken this turn to set up Stealth Rocks. I was tempted to press it. Champ. What? Oh, Graveler. Okay, why Why would you want to bring Graveler in? I know you're probably physically defensive, but... You... Ah, oh, he's obviously choice banded. What are you going to do here? You're going to want to set up Stealth Rocks, aren't you? I can tap Stealth Rocks as well. Let's take him out. I don't want to play any games with this Graveler and just take it out. So I don't want him setting up his rocks either, so. Yeah. Why is he. Oh wow, critical hit. That's another thing. I don't know if people know, but Torterra's hidden ability is Shell Armor. And it's brilliant, because that means it can't get hit by a critical hit. So, um. Oh wow, someone just tweeted me a picture of them finding someone on the. PSS and they're called Shorty and it's a girl and I'm called Shorty and I'm a guy and that's just not fair. Do not take the piss out of me. That's not fair at all. Sad face. Anyway, what's he going to bring in now? Is he going to bring in Mariel? I'm pretty confident I could take an Ice Punch here. Buttercup wants Buttercup. Butterfree. Um, I'm going to take this time to use Stealth Rock. If I had to set up Stealth Rock, this Butterfree would have been a lot less scary. Oh my god, he's going to Quiver Dance. It's okay, because I have got the priority Ice Shard. And it doesn't scare me at all. And I can Toxic this thing next turn. And then, and then we play games. Then we play games. Butterfree, do not scare me. As long as I can get a hit on it, actually. If it goes for the Air Slash, that might do a lot. That might kill me, actually. Uh, uh... Please do not miss Toxic. Should have gone for Seed Bomb, probably. Hopefully he gets greedy. He goes for the Bug Buzz. Does Ground resist Bug? No. Uh-oh. This, this thing could be a problem. No, I have this. Who's more valu valuable to me right now? I'm thinking Captain Brave Bird. Sat Captain Brave Bird. And then, Delson, because obviously Ice Shard is going to hit this hard, and Pidgeot fast. So I'm going to go for Quick Attack here. Um, I don't know what he's going to go for, what he could actually go for. Quick Attack here. Alright, he stayed in, which is fine. Wow, I've done so much damage. And he's, yes, he missed! Okay, so if he's going to go for another Sleep Powder, he could go into Swagmar. Let's go into Swagmar here, play it safe. I still have my two priority users out, so that that's feeling cool. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling cool about that right now. So let's go into Swagmar, see what he decides to go for here. 
And now I can bring in Delson and start ice sharding away on this thing. So he goes for sleep powder, but it fails. You know why? Because I have vital spirit. And Swagmar is here to F you up. Let's go for that flamethrower and see what it does to this thing. Pretty sure a plus one. Air slash. Does it get air slash? It gets air cutter, I think. So I'm pretty sure a plus one from this thing can't hurt. You can go for the sleep powder again if you want, buddy. I have vital spirit. You should know this. You've probably seen me use Swagmar before. I'm feeling really confident at the moment because Ice Shard can clean up his team. Especially now I have rocks up. Especially now I have rocks up. And I have quick attack too. So. Please, Amri, come on. Do not delay the inevitable. I think it's done. I think it's over. Come on. He's obviously thinking really hard about this. You can bring in Meryl if you like. But, um... Are you going to go for Bug Buzz? Okay. Shouldn't kill me. Obviously, it's a resisted hit. Yeah, it took that comfortably. Well done, Swagmar. No over predictions here. Just going for that Flamethrower. Because, obviously, it's going to hurt Pidgeot. It's going to hurt this thing. And if he brings in Meryl, it'll probably still do some good damage to Meryl, too. And Swagmar lost some HP and Poison. So, he's obviously going to bring in... Maril and Aqua Jet on the next turn, I believe. And because he only has Maril left, obviously Staravia is going to be faster with Quick Attack. I hope. Um, otherwise, then I'm then I am scared. Oh, he has Citrus Berries. He's not even banded. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can live an Aqua Jet from this thing. Then uh, I'm just going to go for the Overheat because why not? Oh wait, maybe he's Belly Drum. He's Belly Drum Maril. Belly, that is that is ballsy, man. That is a ballsy set that you are running. Preferably, I like the choice band of Aqua Jet straight up that power. But fair play. Oh, well, I'm faster, obviously. Let's go for the overheat. Let's see what that does. It's probably gonna do nothing. Oh, he lived. Oh, he actually lived it. Wow, he lived. And he's gonna play rough, and he hit, which is fine. I don't really mind. But I can go into. What should we do? Let's go into Staravia, just because I like Staravia. And, oh my god, my door opened. I wonder what the hell was happening, but it's just my dog. Hey, Smudge, what's up? You stare at yourself in the mirror, like the idiot you are. So let's go into Captain Brave Bird here. And, uh, this Pidgeot might actually lock itself into Quick Attack. And that could be scary, actually. That could be really scary. I have Steel Wing, which is quite funny. U turn. Oh, he might Aqua Jet. Duh! Oh, why did I even. Why didn't I think of that? Okay, I took that quite well, so that's fine. He hasn't got rocks up. So I'm, I'm fine about it. It's fine. What? What? I don't. Oh, Meryl's dead. Okay. Actually, you know what? I can even go into. You know what? I'm just going to go into my Simi Port here because Simi Port outspeeds Pidgeot. Or, or does it tie? I can't remember, no, I think Pidgeot was based on 101, which is the same as Simipore. This is why I like running the Simipore at max speed, because it has one base speed more than base 100, so it outpaces anything that, like that. I don't actually know how many base 100s there are in PU, but, um, yeah. Oh, he said GG. What, is, is Bird Jesus? So is he just going to lock himself into Brave Bird or something? I hope he does. Let's go for Ice Beam. Or does he know that Kong is about to take him down? He must be Choice Scar. No, he, okay, he's he's Life Orb. Or Banded or something, because we obviously had a Speed Tire, something like that. Anyway, good game, Bunnelby Breeder slash Amri. Yet again, I won. You did not get revenge, but I'm sure in the next uh, battle we have, which is going to happen at some point, you might get your revenge. But I really enjoyed that battle. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this battle. Um... Other than that, I can't really think of anything else to say. I'm so glad I'm back making videos again because I've just finished my last exam for like the next four months. So videos are going to be a lot more common. Hooray. And uh, thank you for getting me up to, I think it's 362 subs at this point. So I'm really happy about that. Let's get to 400 as soon as possible. That would be nice. Um, other than that, I can't really think of anything else to say. So I hope you guys have a nice evening and weekend. If I don't get to bring a video to you, I should because I have nothing better to do all weekend than I'm home alone. So other than that, I'll see you later. Goodbye.